What did Ikomi and Vivi do throughout the last year? It's almost Christmas, it's almost the end of the year and I think everyone is excited to spend this time with the families a little bit away from the projects but I think right now this is a great time to look back at over one year of Ikomi and Vivi development, promises, broken promises, problems but also successes and especially for that purpose I have ver dug very deep into my own archives and pulled out a roadmap that I have built over one year ago with all the milestones that we expected then and I think it's a great great thing and exercise for us to look back on what I had on this roadmap and how things are looking right now. We're going to look at the charts, we're going to look at current successes and current problems, we're going to look at the status quo of Ecomi and Vivi right after the intro. So here we are at the begin of another bull market and of 2023 already and who is around since 2021 or even 2020 in Ecomi and Vivi can look back at, to a long history of Vivi without an app and marketplace, uh, Ecomi without utility, well still without utility right but um, for that purpose I have pulled out this roadmap that I made who is following me and subscribed to this channel knows this roadmap from very long time ago and probably is getting some uh, patient hodler in the field vibes and so on uh, if you see this um, no matter what I wanted to show this to you guys discuss it with you guys in a video format and I have retreated a little bit to make this roadmap clear and visible for everyone here in the left bottom corner but let's get started here so what you're seeing just to explain for those who've never seen this roadmap what I outlined in that sense and uh, also there a lot has changed right um, it was still in the end of the bull run or let's say in the NFT craze in a metaverse hype in the AR VR hype when the first things around Apple and also Facebook meta when met Facebook um, renamed into meta came out so these lines down here the colored lines were uh, my vision of market adoption and who would drive this adoption like uh, that NFTs get into mainstream throughout these platforms that are being used maybe also TikTok which is not here as a logo but that Instagram and Facebook matter but also YouTube and Apple that they are going to uh, give this awareness to mainstream people and that would have probably worked if it wasn't for it to all crumble down into a bear market where also these big companies did not understand how these cycles work and why no one is interested in those uh, things anymore at least not not the huge percentage that analysts in their firms were seeing and so this adoption curve here I think it still exists maybe there will be other logos in the future but uh, marketing and awareness AR VR tech and education about NFTs and, and digital collecting and so on I think it will increase in this way but maybe it takes a little bit longer but that was my vision for the market and then I collected everything that was promised or hinted at and this is very important some of these milestones were only hinted at and never promised but I will outline which are with which they are and you see here there is a box Q3 Q4 when I made this video Q3 and Q4 of 2022 were still in front of us I think it was 2022 I hope it wasn't 2021 um, it was still in front of us uh, yeah, uh, it was 2022 for sure and uh, I boxed it around all the things that we were expecting for Q3, Q4, 2022. Now we are more than one year later and we're looking at. So at the time they were going um, for, uh, for um, Comic Con and Designer Con. So that has happened. At the time they were introducing the one of one NFT auctions, the big auctions. Uh, where we suspect that this will attract more whale money and um, maybe that is all we will see how the one of one NFTs will behave in a bull run because I think they are, um, they are not listed at all as far as stacker world shows um, then we had uh, the, um, the OUP final article <laughs> in front of us one of the final articles so for those of you who were not around or for those of you who forgot about it 
we got articles that explained the entire ohm utility program how it was supposed to be and then it was revamped completely and merged into the mcp and everything that we ever made content about uh, basically was useless and uh, yeah this this article basically never came to fruition um, the account merge happened yeah uh, search updates those search bar update was a big meme in the end but it happened so search bar is working in in the end uh, mcp phase one <laughs> is actually um not rolled out still because if uh, if you consider that the first iteration of mcp is only that we have points then yes then this is concluded check mark is this i think the season zero but a real mcp phase one where you could do something with it is not there so you could argue about this on the other hand we have the ranks uh, we have the rank climbing and they communicated in the beginning that rank climbing and, and getting levels and so on would be uh, part of this phase one. So actually we have that, but it, it took way longer um, than uh, Q3 for 2022, that's for sure. Uh, that metadata for all um, collectibles is still not there. If you go to a muter scan, you do not see all of the metadata, um, as far as I know at least. Um, there is uh, some data where you can still identify what the what the collectible is, but it's not not everything is equipped with a picture and so on um, in, in Immuter Scan. So that is, but on Stacker World we can see all of them. Um, and then Crypto to Gems, and that's already where this box of Q3, Q4, 2022 um, goes away, and that would be then basically stuff for 2023. And we see here. Um, that crypto to gems was actually something we expected relatively soon and because there were demos of crypto pay in um, and there was at the time also enabled crypto pay out so that uh, when cash this, this was the time of the great um, cash out fat that vv is never going to bring cash out to the people and they did in the end they had for a time also crypto payout but they shut that down and then the provider went away so that cash out went away and the fud uh, re-emerged that they will not enable payout but payout got re-enabled and um yeah in the end uh it's not possible at the moment in crypto but there, there was a time where a couple of influencers got crypto payout and they were uh, um allowed to cash out uh, into crypto right uh, also, that caused a lot of fat. Um, then, uh, also, we had uh, the yeah the hint at new verticals, or uh, it was outspoken that there will be new verticals, but which they are, we don't, we didn't actually know. But in some AMAs, it came across as if we were getting gaming NFTs, and we could argue that we got NFTs with a gaming company, and that's that is the rabbits of Ubisoft. Um, so in that sense with Ubisoft we got something but obviously people expected way more than this so um, uh, and and from a new vertical standpoint people are still expecting something like uh, music NFTs and so on right um, so we did not really get the, these new verticals in in the sense of um, a complete other type of NFTs like uh, music NFTs um, or something like that, but we did get, for example, a Lamborghini um, after that. So car collectibles. So you could argue that this is a new vertical. So we could put a check on this. Uh, Omi to gems, clearly not, right? Uh, so this never happened. We are still waiting for it. We also know that th this probably not going to happen until the halving, because the current MCP OUP Omi Utility Program uh, outline uh, only sees soft staking uh, mechanisms for ecomi at the moment so this is clearly not fulfilled and is probably moved way uh, um, to the to the end of this roadmap uh, then comics and showrooms also never heard about it we do not really know if uh, comics are part of the viviverse um, some people hinted uh, that they're not really integrated in the viviverse yet so comics and showrooms was actually a catalyst that, that we expected to be a price driver for comics. And we are hoping that this is coming in the bull run. Um, hiring. Hiring actually happens, still happening and happened. And um, we have seen that they have been hiring a blockchain team, for example, maybe too late, right? You could have been building the entire bear market, but they did hire a blockchain team. 
they hired a Omi community manager, they are about to hire a Vivi community manager, they hired several people since 2022 for various positions within the company. I think Mitch was hired after this, but I'm not quite sure about this date. Then uh, at these designer cons and comic cons, there was and is, is still marked as new because I stopped developing this roadmap after that because too many things were were unclear and this roadmap didn't really bring value anymore to people because uh, all the things w were somewhat pushed out or uh, people were in doubt that it will ever happen and uh, the team walked back on some things that they said and so on. So the prototypes, um, they, are, um, they are something, if you remember, uh, David, you talked about converting a lot of different collectibles burn them and get somewhat of a prototype collectible which is very scarce so we see we did see craft at burn which was somehow in this promise but we didn't see the prototypes i don't know if they are still part of the plan but the craft and burn has been implemented and it was something burning collectibles was something that we were looking forward to which is here in in this step uh, but we did look forward to it not as events but as a permanent functionality by staking omi or by somewhat getting uh, climbing up the ranks in the omi utility program so um, it was more um, something that we expected to be if you burn a collectible then you get something out of it like tickets like um, mcp points and that mcp points obviously at that status when we get these functionalities have a bigger value which is not the case at the moment you cannot spend an mcp points and you cannot spend the tickets because first first of all we didn't get any tickets yet for our um soft staked omi and also uh, the tickets are yeah the, t the the tickets are not yet there and there's no no functionality known to us i know that there is an ecomi uh AMA space or an Ecomi update space on Discord tomorrow from, from the point of taking this video. But I, in, I in intentionally want to make this video before that happens. Because I think if there is something new coming, then I might be inclined to uh, redesign this whole roadmap. But I really want to discuss this roadmap before we get any new promises, information or whatever. Uh, so let's look at the next one. Buy L2 OMI in app. So um, this is something that people were really excited about and some people are also concerned about, which would be basically that you can via credit card or other fiat on ramp means, means uh, buy OMI within uh, the VV app. And the first step to this might have been taken right now in um finding ways so that uh, the web version is available on the mobile um uh, on the smartphone and also uh, as a normal web app uh, from desktop pcs and so on so uh, there was no chance to get um l2 omi inside the vv app uh, with uh yeah with a play store and the uh, and the app store so um, this step has been taken, but this was expected um, for 2023 and it didn't happen and it will not happen in 2023. But if it happens in 2024, it can be a major catalyst for OMI price action. So uh, some groundworks is there, but let's man manage the expectation. It could be that this got completely cut out of the list and might not happen at all. But I still see a chance that this is happening. Okay, next up is um, Epico and actually I already thought about Epico um, being kicked out of this roadmap completely because I thought Epico was dead but then they came back with uh, their own like metaverse trailers and so on they have their own token to shill and we will see if Omi is still a part of um, Epico marketplace if it's still going to be integrated in the app or even in their metaverse for example um, it could be it could be that this is uh, completely gone, but it was um, announced, it was promised that uh, Epico is going to um, reduce the circulating supply of Omi, and we did not really see that integration. I think their their tower defense game is more or less dead. I think. Um, yeah, then localization, we have seen localization efforts. So we saw that Mandarin and Spanish and some other languages were made available on the VV app um, and on the web app as well. 
So localization is not fully there, but um, they have rolled out a part and I think they would be um, doing good if they get as many languages as possible so that many, many countries can come into the VV ad. Um, yeah, then uh, OUP phase one, right? Rollout. And that was expected for 2023, but um, actually it uh, it's coming only right now in 2024 because we have seen season zero, which is only that you can move your OMI uh, to, to wallets on L2, bridge it over. Now we are getting the first, um, yeah, so to say utilities besides stacking points, which is the bronze tickets for three months until season two starts. And, um, and season two is basically uh, getting those, uh, you, you already get the tickets and season two is unknown to us right now what it is. But I need to highlight here that OUP phase one and so on was something completely different back then. It was um, that you could, um, basically start using your OMI to climb ranks and in those ranks get perks like burning collectibles or renting out your collectibles or uh, acquiring accessories in uh, in your showrooms and so on. So none of this ever was realized. Um, yeah, then exchanges. This is, this is one of the big, um, let's say, big failures in my opinion because there was a promise um, for four to five exchanges and I think they never went through with this. I think there was one exchange uh, that came and that was Bitmart. And uh, besides that, not really other exchanges came up. There was um, a Sendex staking for a while where you could uh, gain for a couple of weeks um, something between 20, 10 and 20% on your OMI. But uh, so it was APY, but they reduced that APY to 0.5% or some, something almost non-existent. Uh, on Ascendix uh, after that, so that hype um, quickly died down. So exchanges were expected to bring four or five exchanges where OMI could be listed on, and actually that would have been very good for the OMI token if we would have those exchanges. These wouldn't have to be the biggest exchanges, would have to be only some exchanges so that our volume today wouldn't be so low. So Ecomi clearly has a very low volume, um, compared to the market cap of the circulating supply. So Ecomi has uh, roughly 700 to $800,000 daily volume with a $180 million market cap, which is very low um, volume. Uh, other coins that have lower market caps have 20 million um, daily volume or so. So the, this really, really needs to happen in 2024. And uh, yeah, the, the big question here for the exchange part was throughout 2023, why are exchanges not listing the OMI token? One reason is because there is no volume, but there are other, um, yeah, there are other doubts why exchanges are not touching that token. And we will see throughout um, the beginning stages of the bull run when tokens are starting to move and eventually Ecomi is starting to move, if there will be exchange listings. And um, it would be good if the team even takes some money, some VV revenues or whatever, in hand to list uh, the OMI token on exchanges because that will um, the first exchanges will result in other exchanges also listing it because they want to tap into the community and the volume okay then burning collectibles we already talked about it so the burning collectibles that we had or that we have right now is not the burning collectibles that we had there this would be burn on choice like selecting a collectible and say i want to burn it and then even maybe getting a re reward for that right so this also didn't happen um interoperability a very big point that was discussed throughout 2023 promised for the end of 2021 we were expecting it in the end of 2022 throughout 2023 we realized that it will never come or that it will probably not come and we have to make a, a very important distinction here because interoperability and self-custody are two different things you can make uh, collectibles interoperable and you can make them interoperable with something like a ledger or so or, or a, um, a secure wallet uh, where you can move your nfts into outside of the vv ecosystem and the theory for interoperability was actually in, or the intention here was that it was made or would be made interoperable throughout the IMX ecosystem. Why did you onboard IMX 
if you don't utilize marketplaces that are there. So why don't make some of the collectibles from uh, art publishers like Ron English or so, make a deal, make these interoperable and show the licensors how this looks, show the community that you are going in the direction of, of interoperability. And then you can still argue that a Marvel or Disney didn't want to go interoperable, right? But um, interoperability is still a topic, it will be a topic. And the big question is when or if it ever will come. So it, 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 it was a promise, it didn't happen and it's still on the roadmap. So hardcore marketing. We didn't see hardcore marketing in 2023. Also because it probably didn't make sense because the target community uh, would be Web3 and this target community basically did turn off all channels of reception throughout the bear market because they were crying about minus 99% portfolio value. Now, hardcore marketing. I think marketing has been starting already um, and it has happened in the last couple of months. Um, besides, and this is something that we clearly have to give them, them going and them paying for being on Marvel uh, or getting exposure on Marvel uh, booth on Comic-Con. So we really can't have it both ways because some people were complaining that they had to pay to go with Marvel. Uh, on the other hand, it's like that. If you want marketing, people have to pay for marketing. So what they are doing is Facebook campaigns, Instagram campaigns, they are doing sweepstakes where they're using the collectibles that they were withholding from the first seasons um, to to do giveaways and to to get like like the uh, the 12 days of Christmas with 10 w winners each day and so on. Um, so they are doing a lot to raise attention and I think it is working in uh, some kind or somehow. And I think the biggest effort needs to be made also in financial way when uh, the bull market is coming back and it's going in the direction of altcoin season where everyone will have eyes on a Komi and through Omi find Vivi. And when the Vivi collector builds are pumping and making headlines, you need to get as many people as possible into the Vivi app. Um, yeah, then reduction of fees didn't happen, will probably not happen. Let's forget about it. Um, that was mm, that was only hinted at that this might be a possibility and yada yada, but it was never, I don't think it was a promise. Renting collectibles though was part of the um, OUP article and also we didn't see anything for renting collectibles because renting collectibles um, requires somewhat uh, interoperability and transferability with uh, something like a smart contract or, or a thing to hold to get this collectible back, right? Um, so yeah, I think we are really far away from renting collectibles. Uh, and the the big question is, are there many collectibles to get utility um, where renting collectibles makes sense, um, or if uh, are there at the moment collectibles that are so scarce that the person that wants to, yeah wants to have one for their vault building um, cannot afford one on the market. <coughs> okay, fractional ownership. That was something that um, uh, came up in a, in a space and actually was um, just a suspicion of the, the community that this could be happening. So let's forget about it. Then Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Yu-Gi-Oh, they all didn't come. They were hinted at by Ikomi themselves many times. So if someone is mad that the community is speculating about Pokemon, Dragon Ball and Yu-Gi-Oh, it was intentionally hinted in into this direction that they might have it throughout the bull run. So it was very convenient to raise attention then. So no one on the team can be mad at the community that they think they might have this or that they want this now. Because it has been used too many times in memes or something like that. We have to see that David Yu uh, said he it was, was, would have been his biggest dream to have Pokemon on the app um, and he would camp outside all day to get Pokemon. They said many times that they do not have Pokemon, right? So uh, this was one of the main drivers of excitement of people. Like everywhere you would hear, imagine when they drop Pokemon, imagine this and that. So it would be good if they secure at least one of these bigger ones um, or another big one that is not listed here. Um, but they have a lot of big brands and if they can show that they successfully survived the bear market, thrived in the bear market and bring all these things here uh, and, and the community is just growing massively, it could attract these brands or, or the holders of these brands. 
Um, customizable collectibles. Yes, I think we are very, very far away from this. I mean, we remember the shenanigans when you put Deadpool in the Coca-Cola orb that the that the layer with the um, with the sweater is gone. But we also recently saw that this this is really more something like a bug because that also happened to the Matt Groening uh, signature on the Homer Simpson. So I think we can forget customizable collectibles for a while. <coughs> Accessories. Uh, yeah, I think they are part of the Vverse, but we didn't, we did never get them. And, and then we are really coming to stuff that is super far away at the moment. Land sales. Land sales through Omi. I think uh, it was already said that this will never happen. That actually the Vverse would not be a normal metaverse or something like the metaverses that people know of. I think land sales were cancelled com completely and altogether. And this is obviously something that is not not very good because or not well received by the community because throughout the bull run many people uh, bought Omi because they thought that when they have a lot of Omi they can purchase land and benefit from these very exclusive lands purchasable, purchasable with Omi that will yield high value um, for being for example next to Marvel. <coughs> then uh, another play to earn game where Omi is used um, this uh, this could be um, uh, Tenso or um, uh, something like that right uh, we didn't know that game back then um, so this we could say okay um, we have that but it's a third right so it would be Epico Regal it, there was like these little games like Canon Crisis and then uh, there would be the third one VV as a publisher actually we can kind of checkmark that because they brought out a Marvel comic with the VV logo on its back and uh, v uh, Marvel um, did this cover together with VV or for VV and some of us um, they have these original comics right <coughs> excuse me uh, now um, VV as a publisher is very appealing and we hope in the future Marvel will publish a comic through Vivi that is only obtainable uh, in this way, which would give a lot of inflow of uh, Marvel enthusiasts for Vivi. Um, we can, however, kind of say that this has already come true. Binance and Coinbase listing. Now, this is special from normal exchange listings because these would be the biggest uh, exchanges to have. Right now, a Coinbase listing would be even bigger than a Binance listing but both of them would be insane. Um, I think we are very far away from this because not even the normal or regular exchanges or the more degenerate exchanges are listing Ecomi right now. There needs to be effort made that Ecomi is on these exchanges in the bull run. Yeah, and then Binance and Coinbase NFT marketplace integration, we are even more further away from this because we do not even have um, interoperability within um, within such a marketplace. And then, uh, yeah, the launch of the Vverse, at that time we expected this would be way at the end of everything because everyone figured for making a good metaverse it takes more time. Um, it could happen now before a lot of these things. Um, I was always of the opinion that uh, I don't care about the metaverse as soon as or uh, as long as these other things are coming true. Um, I still think they should push out the, the Vverse, the Metaverse, um, until they have something really, really good. And uh, I wouldn't be mad if this takes a long time, Yeah, if this comes only true somewhere in, in the end of 2024. I don't care about this. I care about all of these other things and factors for the Ecomi token. So this uh, is the review and we're probably going to uh, make a part two um, of this video because actually it's already half an hour long. So with that said, um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole roadmap um, of uh, Ecomi and Vivi. How, what, what do you think about the review that I just made about this? And uh, yeah, guys, wherever you are on the world, have a great morning, evening, day, night or afternoon and I see you in the next video or live stream. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.